Okay, folks, I want to tell you a wee Mayfly pattern. Um, the hook and the vise, as I say, is 10 standard heavyweight wet fly hook. The thread that I'm going to use to tie the fly is Uni 3880, and I'll have done. So I'm just going to come in and get the thread started behind the eye of the hook. And I'm just going to knock on a bit of thread here and bring my thread back, do back down past the point of the hook and remove the waist tag of thread. The tail on the fly is cock and fibers. This is around about a half a dozen or so. So I just like this twice the length of the hook over the back. I'm just going to come around with a pinch and loop and then take my thread turns down the shank of the hook tying in the tail. And I'm just going to come in and trim this the length of the body. The rib on the fly is a oval gold tinsel and small. So I'm just going to come in offer this up much the same length as the cut ends of the cock pheasant. And then I'm just going to run my thread up, tan these two materials in there. It doesn't need to be perfect. The body's going to be dubbed. Then I'm going to bring my thread back down and open turns. Now the dubbing that I'm going to put on the body is just a natural, a natural seals fur. This is a genuine seals fur. So let me get some of this out of the dispenser here. So I'm just going to dub this on. Don't worry if it goes on like a ball like this at times. We can sort that out once we get it onto the hook. Okay, just slide it up. Get it started on the hook. And that's it anchored at this point. And then you can twist it and stretch it out as you go. It's just the way I have that in the dispenser. It's nice. It's packed in tight. So just take my time and just work this up the body. Just stretching it out as I go. Now, that's plenty for me there, so I'm just going to remove the excess at this stage. Get another couple of tight turns in anything that's going forward. I'm just going to sweep it back and bring my thread in front. The body haggle. This is just a grizzled cock haggle. Genetic. So I'm just going to come in. We get a nice haggle here. The flag is one there. Take that away. Break the tip away or the rubbish from the bottom. Take away the favors to burrow the stem. Offer this up to the hook on my side. Just come around with a couple of turns to secure it in. Come in, trim away the excess. Right, what I like to do is I like to get two turns at the shoulder of the fly, meaning the top of the body. And then three or four turns down the body. To there. Now, keep the hole of your tip. Just come around with your oval gold tinsel. And you're looking four or five turns of the oval gold up the body. Now, bring your oval gold in front, remove the stem, keeping that tight. I think it's going forward, stroke it back, bring your thread in front. A couple of turns to secure that in. Come in, you can trim that away. Now, I'm just going to come in with a wee bit of alcohol. Just bring out any of the fibers that I may have caught in when I was winding up the oval gold pencil. Stroke that back. The next haggle on the fly is a French partridge haggle that's dyed a, a light green. Just going to show you the color here. Just get one out of the bag. It's up there. What they call an insect green color. Right. Just going to come in and take away all the rubbish from the bottom. Come in stroke back the fibers to reveal the tip. Okay, I'm just going to come in and trim away the tip, just leaving myself a tag in the tag in. Offer this up to the hook, come in with a turn to hold. Getting nice tight turns now, just securing in this haggle. Nice and tight. Then we're just looking one turn in front of the other. Right, just stroke back your fibers. That's a nice colour. This dyed French partridge and it's they're good quality feathers. So just take them one turn in front of the other. 
until I think that I have enough on there. I just want to check. Okay. Uh, I'm happy enough for that. So I'm just going to come around to there. Bring it back round onto my thread. Because I want the, the thread turns tight into the stem. Uh, nice and tight with that. Nice pair of sharp scissors come in and trim away the excess of the stem. I think it's going forward, just come in and fold it back and just tie that in nice and tight now. And come in because the French part reads all. Open it all up. Just come in with a bit of a brush. Just give it a wee bit of a brush just to try and open up the fibers just so you can see it. There we go. The next haggle. This is a blue back haggle that's dyed in picric acid. So now, these are very, very delicate haggles, feathers. So just come in and just want to remove the fluff from the bottom. I want to come in and just gently stroke back the, the fibers to reveal the tip now. I'm not really going to use all of this. Only looking a few turns, so I'm just going to come in a couple of turns. I'm going to fold back the tip, bring my thread to the eye, and then bring my thread up over the top of the tip and the haggle. Come in, locate the tip, and just break it away. Now, if you're using this, it's this feather similar to a French or a sorry, an English, an English partridge. So it's very delicate. So you just want to take your time here at this point. Just stroke back the fibers. And like I say, I'm looking only a couple of turns, so I'll probably only put about two turns on. So that's one. Right. Just taking my time here, just stroking these back. I don't like to use haggle pliers, I just like to use my hand I think I have more control over the feather that way now, I'm happy with that so I'm just going to follow this around with my thread just taking my time here and a nice tight turn in and then a couple of nice securing tight turns to secure it in now what I want to do is the stem's thin enough so I'm just going to hold the thread tight and come in and just take away the excess fiber just to bear the stem just to cut down on the bulk. Then I'm going to come in and just fold everything back. And my thread's ready at the eye. And then I'm just going to build my thread up from the eye up over the top of the stem. This is just tying everything in there nice and tight for us. Keeping the thread tight, I'm going to come in and break away the stem. Now, I'm still keeping the thread tight, not having to go. I'm going to come in with my work finishing tool. Just the one I work finish. Nice and tight. Pull the thread tight. Come in. Trim it away. Now, at this stage what we can do is come in. Can we look at the fly? Open everything up. Now at this stage. Just get everything opened. See it hurts all sitting for you. Now, happy enough for that. Just going to come in, just throw a lot of varnish on the head. Don't worry if it goes into the eye. And clean that out. The main thing is it doesn't run under your feathers and ruin the fly. I hate to see that or varnish and super glue running under the feathers, just ruin it. Now, just going to come in with a bit of waste wire on my desk. You find a bit, there's a bit there. I'm just going to clean out the eye. Just poke it through. Just make sure it's cleaned out. And there you go, folks. So that's just a wee Mayfly pattern. Um knock a knock a few of them up and hopefully they can catch you a few fish. 